few years ago, when I was a little boy, my mom told me to be careful with every important object in my life, especially self-esteem. So the first idea pops out in my mind was to hide. I hide everything as it's important to me, and therefore I can find anything just under the bed. And ladies and gentlemen, trust me, under the bed is not a wise hiding spot. Campus safety is a serious problem that is worth our attention and education, especially when tragic events happen. After I graduate from my primary school and get to junior high, I'm a little confused. I have some doubt about the validity of my idea because I saw a boy's self-esteem, the most important thing in life, was being trampled on. Here is grade seven a year when he got called geek, freak, foolish. He had to be silent, beard long. The poor boy is being held back with a vengeance. They dragged him along the ground. He was kicked and punched from time to time. And when I saw this happen, I was furious. But I chilled out and told the teacher and I hoped that wouldn't be the second time. Unfortunately, the boy would continue to suffer from bullying for many days to come. The particular characteristics of school bullying in China are the boundary of school bullying is not clear. Some things are clearly bullying in South, but will be considered by outlookers as a joke or horseplay. Additionally, most people do not even face up to the bullying phenomenon, even a tip of. Despite school bullying occurs from time to time, there are much more serious factors affecting campus security. On April 16, 2007, a Korean student, Zhao Chengxi, walked in the campus with a rifle in his hands. He started to shoot every person in his sight at Blacksburg, Virginia, campus of Virginia Tech. It was one of the deadliest school shootings in US history. Until April 16, 2007, Zhao Chengxi lived a world of his own, spoke little, always being long, but on that cold spring day, he spent two hours and 32 lives making his presence, anger, and depression known to the world. Zhao Chengxi was responsible for the deadliest school shootings in US history, the Virginia Tech massacre. He fired more than 220 shots that day, killing 32 people and 192. And in the end, without hesitation, he took his last shot in the face and left the world completely unrecognizable. And now I will show you the non-fatal victimization per 1,000 students between 12 to 18. And from this graph, it's not all hard to see. The crime rate is down a little bit, but it's still a very large number and still fluctuates, which means there are around 50 people will be a crime among every 1,000. The tragic string of deaths and injuries, the killing and mutilation of fresh lives. Thus, people cannot help but sigh. Make the campus safer, no time to delay. The main factors of campus security can be divided in following two. The first one is individual factors. Many students have great mental health problems under pressure of study and family. To, ca to actively carry out mental health education, we should educate and guide students in a correctly and healthy view of life. Seeing social barriers, facing, facing unfair phenomena, and not be harmful to others or self enjoy behavior. And the second one is campus factors. Basically, these tragic events are a warning signal to call on everyone to protect campus. Schools across the country should carefully carry out mental health education and enforce it. Additionally, school guards should carefully patrol the campus, such as teaching buildings, student dormitories, and tightening strict entrance check that, that prohibit anyone from carrying guns and knives from entering. And now I will show you the percentage of at least one security guard at, at least once a week. And from this graph, it's not hard to see that in primary school, the attendance of security guard is only 50% and only 80% even in high schools. The figure is far from ideal. And students face to the rapid development of psych psychological conflicts and confusions, and due to the neglect of mental health education, there's no special curriculum in current schools, which means student mental health problem cannot be solved in a timely manner, which is more serious. When they can't bear it, they're more likely to go to the extreme and vent it out through violence, causing violent crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, students are our future, Let's pay attention to mental health problems, create a good learning environment, and work towards a better future together.